If possible, it is helpful to have an assistant scrub in to help maintain sterility and control the wire. Prepare the skin with appropriate cleansing solution per guidelines. Select the location for the chest drain, usually the fifth intercostal space at the anterior axillary line. Insert the needle just above the rib into the pleural space. It should be advanced no more than one centimeter. Note, you may also attach a syringe to the needle and aspirate while inserting to confirm placement. Pass the wire through the needle as far as the mark on the wire. Stabilize the wire with one hand and remove the needle with the other. It is important to hold the wire in place and still at all times. Pass the first dilator along the wire, through the skin about one centimeter, angling anteriorly, then remove the dilator. The skin may require a small incision. It is important that the wire is held still at all times and not advanced or withdrawn. Pass the larger dilator along the wire, through the skin about one centimeter, angling anteriorly, and then remove. Insert the chest tube over the wire and into the infant just until the holes on the chest tube are inside the infant. So we have holes here. Yeah, I see them. Yeah. So they marking after the hole. Okay, so this is full term baby. So we be sure that the hole marked inside. Then one, two, three. Okay. So we are three. And even if it passed to you, it is here five. So this is here five. So this is four. Mm -hmm. This is three. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So while stabilizing the chest tube with one hand, remove the wire with the other. The chest tube should now be attached to either a chest drainage collection system or Heimlich valve.